Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the management console which is provided by AppRite. Once we log in, we will get an interface like this. First of all, we need to create the project. To create the project, we need to click on this button and here we need to give the project name. Let it be demo and after that we need to click on this create button and we are getting a message demo has been created. This means our project is ready. And here we are getting several options like overview, auth, databases, functions and storage. First of all, we need to go to settings and in the overview, we can see there is the project ID and API endpoint. This project ID and API endpoint will be required to connect the Flutter app with our AppRite project. Fine. After that, I am clicking on, in this auth option. Here we are getting users whatever users we create those users will be listed here the users can be created from flutter app or it can be created manually by clicking on this create user option okay after that we have databases now here we can create our database to create the database we need to click on create database and here i am giving the database name as let it be employees okay after that click on create Then you can see that employee database is created. Now, if I click on this employees database, inside this we can create collection. Now, this to create the collection, what we will do is that we will click on this create collection, and here I need to give the collection name, let it be EMP collection. Okay, after that, click on create. Now again click on this database. Now click on employees. Inside the employees database we have EMP collection. Now inside this EMP collection we can create documents. Now to create the documents first of all we need to create what will be the attributes means what will be the columns. Now to create the attribute we need to click here and here we need to give the attribute key. Let it be name. After that what will be the type since it is name then we can select a string and you can see different different types of attributes are there from here I am selecting a string after that it is asking for the size let it be 50 this means the name key will hold a maximum of 50 characters if you want you can provide a default value from here we can set whether this value will be required or not if we check this this means the field will be required after that click on create now again click on database employees collection and attributes then you can see that uh, the name attribute has been created if you want to delete this then simply click here and you can delete this fine similarly we can create more doc more attributes here by clicking on this create attribute similarly if you want to create functions then by clicking on this create function you can create function for storage we have this create bucket now all these things I will discuss as I will proceed in my tutorial. Correct. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.